So yesterday we were at the beach for four hours and my lips got sunburned and I woke up like this. Does my lip look as giant on camera as it does in person? My bottom one? It's really, really swollen. <laughs> and I wasn't the only one that got damaged by the sun. Poor Addy, your little eyes are all red. How are you feeling? Horrible. Horrible? Oh no. It's hard to blink. It is hard to blink. And I'm horrible at staring contests, so I blink all the time. <laughs> oh, poor girly. We had a rough time. We were there, like I said, for four hours. Addie, we reapplied sunscreen on her a couple times, but she didn't wear sunglasses, and it's hard to get sunscreen right around the eyes, and her poor eyes are suffering because of it. We're kind of a hot mess together, aren't we? Yeah. Maya, too. Maya probably got the worst of everybody. Yeah. She got a bad sunburn. Let's go see Maya's sunburn. How are you feeling today, Maya? Good. Your eyes don't look so bad. I guess yeah, you're a little bit. I have bit... one here, a sunburn here, a sunburn here, a sunburn on my back, one there, and one there. Poor girly. Did you get burned, Colin? I did. Ouchie. Your little eyes, are they ouchy too? Ouchie. So we got lots of aloe last night at the store, and we're lathering them in aloe today, and just hoping by tomorrow we'll all be back to normal. <laughs> look any better. I don't know what to do to reduce the swelling. I've looked it up and it said not to put ice on it because that could cause more tissue damage. But I'm trying Red Bull, I'm trying wet, like wash cloth I call in. Oh, Colin sink, shh. Here's one of the big dilemmas we're facing with my big swollen lips. Is today, is what day, Jason? Saturday. And Saturday is always our filming day. It's the day we film our Tic Tac Toy videos. We really need to film today. I have a whole script written to have a Toy Master at the beach house where we're staying. Okay. But I look like this. And the problem is we can't postpone till tomorrow because tomorrow morning we leave the beach house. And then I would lose my Toy Master beach house script if we do not film today. What do you think, Maya? Should I film today with my lips like this? I should film a Tic Tac Toy video? Oh, no Red Bull for Maya. You think I should? You open that one and I'll open this one. I was walking around Target the day before we came out here and I saw these packages to make your own stress toys. Rainbow Crunch Squishos. Addie has been very into making stress balls at home. What have you made them with so far? Um, I made one with slime in it and one with putty in it. I wanna be happy. Now you have to wait two hours. Just leave them for two hours for the water beads to expand and it'll fill yeah. in your stress ball. Yeah. I can't wait to see how they turn out. Some of the water beads are already growing. You can tell this was the first one that I did, whereas this was the last one I did. They're gonna be pretty fun a bit. I've come to the conclusion that we are just gonna have to film today for Tic Tac Toy because if we don't, it's gonna put us behind and it's gonna be stressful. So I've got the rooms all ready to film. All right, girls, 15 more minutes of Minecraft and then it's filming time. I wonder if some lipstick will help cover it up or if that's gonna make it worse. I'm not sure, let's see. Is that just accentuating how big my lips are or does it help block it? I don't know, I'm undecided. I'm gonna wear it down for a little bit and if it looks bad, I'll take it off. Truthfully, I'm kind of hoping that when I watch this vlog on camera, I'm gonna have all these comments saying, oh, Lucy, your lip didn't look nearly as bad on camera as you said it did, nobody could even notice. Filming on a location is always a little bit different and a little bit more difficult. Um, first of all, I wrote the script on the car ride out here, at least I finished on the car ride out here. So I don't have it printed, so I have to look at my computer around so we all know our lines is gonna be kind of a pain. Plus we have Colin and no babysitter, so the logistics of today's filming are making me feel a little bit stressed out. It's just gonna be a lot, and I'm hoping we can do it relatively quickly and it's not too much of a headache. All right, 
finished three scenes down. Yeah. It's snack time. Snack time. We long ago discovered that the key to successful filming day is lots of good treats on hand. So I made sure to pick up some donuts and muffins when I was at the grocery store last night. It just makes something a little bit more smoother when we have happy stomachs. It's like crumbly goodness. Mm -hmm. It is crumbly goodness. <laughs> Carol's eyes, poor things, look so sunburned. We are gonna be a hot mess in this video between Carol's red eyes and my big lip. With your lip gloss on and when it's, and like when the camera's far away, it's hard to tell. Oh good. All right, we finished filming and Addie and I remember that we had our squishy balls sitting here and they've been there probably like four hours now. We completely forgot about them. What are oh, they like? Oh, they're so good, but like, like look, if you mash it, it stays there. So here's one of mine. Ooh, it does feel good when you squish it. You can see the beads in there. Water beads. How does it feel? Do you like the feel of them? Yeah. You do? Do you want to play with the ones that I made? Yeah. You can have the ones I made if you want to. You want to play with them? Yeah. You squish them, how do they feel? Ooh, I love that. So you've made slime ones, you've made putty ones, and now these ones. Which ones are your favorite? What, what feel do you like the best? I like all of them. You like all of them? You don't have a favorite? No, I don't. I know, I like all of them too. Well, I think they turned out pretty cute, and I like how easy it was. It was definitely one of the easiest little craft kits that we have ever purchased. Addie pretty much could do it all by herself, and I think I'd buy them again. The girls are heading out with Jason to go to the pool for a little bit. I am gonna stay home with Colin and we're gonna, Colin's gonna watch the movie and I'm gonna pack because we head back to Nashville tomorrow morning. So I got to get the place clean, I've gotta get packed and there's just a lot to do. But I gotta get it off my chest. There's so much more than where you're from. It's in the fabric of your soul. I don't know how it's possible, but I feel like all of the kids' bags are way lighter on the way home than they were on the way there. So I'm really hoping I'm not missing something or forgetting something somewhere, because it not makes no sense that they'd be lighter. All right, girls are back from the pool. How was the pool? Good. You guys didn't get to stay too long though. It was raining, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have been eyeing, what are these girls? Magic pads. Magic pads. We just got these in the mail, I think like two days before the trip, oh. and the girls spotted them, and they went to bring them with us. This was the last toy I think we brought with us that we haven't opened yet. Oh look, you can make a unicorn, a happy birthday, like an ocean, a light. Instructions and fun guide. Math. Ooh, there's even math facts here, that's cool. Oh, wow. All right, they can have fun and do math facts. I am sold as a parent. Whoa, it lights up. <laughs> I didn't push this button. <laughs> uh, whoa, it lights up. Oh, and look, there's even a handle. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? I bet that's not a handle. You know what I think it is? What? Oh, yeah, to stand it Like up. an easel. Oh, wow, you can make this green. Red, green, blue, yellow, aqua pink, white. I already did red and green. Now let's see what Blue or purple, I think. I'm going to work on these. Which one should I start off on? Yeah. You're the unicorn. Do you just draw on the board? Well, I think you can draw on the board whatever you want. You can write notes on it, or you can stick any of these little notepads in it. There's letter tracing. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Mazes, all sorts of games. I think, oh, I even saw tic-tac-toes and word searches. Oh, the tic-tac-toes, if you have these, then you can write tic-tac-toy with it. <laughs> <laughs> popping out. It does, doesn't it? That's really neat. I know, it might be the glow in the dark thing. And so wait, that's the green pin you're using. Yeah. Right, but because you have a red light on, it looks red. Mm -hmm. What if you change the light? Whoa. Oh, there's a green light. Wait, and if you just, I'm... okay, so if you put no light on, you can see, you see the green better. Ooh, on the back there's numbers. Letters, I mean, yeah, letters and numbers. Talking up the sun, you and me together. You and me, you're the only one. You and me, you and me, always having fun. You and me forever. Can you see through it? 
Wow, that's cool. So you can see right through it. I have to admit, these are way more fun than I was expecting. Expecting them to be. I think I would like to play with these. And it's nice they come with cards that you can trace. So if you're not the best artist like me, I can trace something that's gonna look really good. And then I can take out the tracing sheet in the back and it'll look like I did it all by myself. I think I'm gonna let them continue playing and I'm gonna get some more packing done. We're almost ready for our trip home tomorrow.